Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So five yards there is one of the big guys up front moved. And in a 4-3 front, you got the two defensive tackles right near the football. I know there's a lot of movement around there, but they're always taught to have one eye on the football. Apparently, that didn't happen. on the counter. And this defense feeling the encouragement. They stop him at the line of scrimmage on the first play of the afternoon. No gain there on first and five, and it leaves him with a more standard second down. Second down run for Abdullah. And he will force his way forward for a yard or two, but I have a good feeling this will be coming back. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Second down, Winston. Open man is Amara Darbo complete. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Jameis to throw it. And that is incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. He'll return it from the six. 62 yards on the punt that time. Wow. And the Panthers will take over now, first and ten. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and it'll make it a second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Nigel Bradham coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss of seven. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. And this is caught. It's Greg Olson. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. Hurry up, here we go. Three, nine, 
They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, and defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. Hard throw, incomplete. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. Actually, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the Bucs are going to take over first and 10 deep in their own territory. First down, Winston. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he gets this one up just shy of the 35 to the 34. A good pick up there, a 22. Now the offense lining up first and 10. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Winston now to throw on first down. And it's a fumble. And the defense not able to get it. For, from a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. And you probably talk about this training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. It's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Amara Darbo, the one he was looking for. And it's third and four. That one didn't quite make it to the target, but that's not always a function of the strength of the arm of the quarterback, is it? Sometimes there's just too much pressure there. In any case, the ball doesn't arrive. To the air again with Winston. And he's got a man. It's the tight end Howard complete. Now Howard stripped. He lost the football. But it looks like a Buccaneer was able to corral it. Yes, the Bucs have it. Tampa Bay keeps the possession. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. Jameis again. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. A second down throw for Winston. This would complete to his fullback out of the backfield. Give him eight on the play, and that'll make it third down. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield, and oftentimes it's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. So a jump there defensively. That's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. Now a play fake here on first down. Out to the left there and complete to Howard. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. 
A handoff to Abdullah. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. He gets it to Brown, complete. And he gets this down to the 18, good enough for a first down. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. say uh-uh as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage it'll be a loss of one and it'll be second down and this seemingly endless drive continues again it's a duel and this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. And they'll lose a yard that time and that's going to lead to a third down. The Bucks on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and seven. Winston. And it's caught. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. O.J. Howard, his first touchdown on the year. And the Bucs have taken a first quarter lead. And that one gives the Bucs a 7 to nothing lead. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. And this will be broken up and incomplete. Now a penalty flag down, and they may be going backward here. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. And this pass defense, they were sensational in the win last week, and they're looking good here so far in this first quarter. You know, we often talk about how offenses get locked in, and that runs over multiple games where they're really, you know, in that zone. Defenses can be the exact same way, and I think we're seeing an example. Of that. And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. 
coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it'll be fourth down. Here's the Panthers punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He gets this away. It's a good one, drawing toward the sidelines. And this punt goes out of bounds, and it'll be marked inside the 40. Now the Buccaneer offense set to take over again. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. First down throw for Winston. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. That would have been a great catch, but it was real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. Throwing again. Winston on second and ten. Going down the middle. And it's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Jameis now on first down. Big seam, and he might go all the way. And he will score. Touchdown, Panthers. Well, we know this defense has athleticism. Spots like that prove us right. I love the way that you spotlighted the athleticism because you and I both know the best athletes on the field, they play on defense. Oh, I don't know. I was a kicker. you got to remember that now. Come on. Come on. Fine. Time for our first check of the NFL scoreboard. And the Lions adding more points to their total, extending that lead. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last, that didn't bother you too much last time. No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. and 10, Winston. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. So he can't hang on and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard. Maybe from you. I don't know. But you're going to get hit anyways. Might as well hold on to the ball. Well, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a no chance at all. Way easier said than done. On second down, Winston again. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. A good pick up there of 20 yards. They'll throw again. Winston. He's got his tight end over the middle, O.J. Howard. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Again, it's Winston. This throw caught right around 
the six. And they do get him down, but not before he reaches the four-yard line. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Movement there on the offensive line. A little quick and a five-yard penalty. So that'll back him up five. Now again, this is Abdullah. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Amir Abdullah hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Bucs have taken the lead. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That'll be taken in the end zone. Carolina getting set to take the field. And this is their third drive. Maybe the focus right now, not so much on points, but getting their first first down. And when you start off a game, you don't even think that's an issue, do you? But you go a drive, a second drive, no first down, that becomes an issue. Now you got to think about, okay, what type of play calling do I have to do to get us in a spot to pick that first one up? And he is going to be knocked flat on his back. Oh, a big hit. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. here on first down. This one complete to Devin Funches. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Yeah, give him four yards there, it'll be second and six. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, and they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Going for the deep ball. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. And especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. Got his target, Samuel. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. A big 30-yard play on third. to throw he'll drop it off to McCaffrey and he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six six yards on the pickup and it'll be a second down so many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game get your best players into space with the football in their hands that's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner get him out in the flat and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. And give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Here we go now. Green. They'll run again here with Goldman. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage, look defensively. Back to throw. And he will not get away. He sacked back around the three-yard line. Robert Kimdichi able to use that strength and get him for a loss of two. not only 
simply not get the yard he needed. He goes the wrong direction. He lost two there, and it's third down. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. They'll drop to throw. Eluding the pressure right. He can touchdown, Carolina. The point after now for Aguayo. And oh, he missed it. No good. And they'll remain down by a point. The kicker, Roberto Aguayo, has it teed up and is about ready to get this one started. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. So out come the Bucks now. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. They start the drive with Abdullah. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. They go with Abdullah again, and he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Open man has got what it's complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. He got 29 yards that time. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Jameis to throw it. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 33. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A minute 58 to go in this first half of play. Back with more from Charlotte after this. They'll look to throw here on first down. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey, and he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. He's got his tight end on the corner round. It's complete. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Panthers are going to jump back in front. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. And two picks thrown here in this first half alone. We'll see how that affects him. Can't wait to see where his confidence is because the great ones, they'll throw four or five picks. And while it'll hurt their team, it won't hurt their confidence. They'll think something was just wrong with the ball or the wind or something was funny. It's never about them. That's how they stay so into the moment and into the game. On first down, Abdullah. It's just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Go, 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 run, run, run. 
Winston now to throw on first down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. A gain of six there on first. Now Jameis trying to hurry his crew to the line. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. is McGuire, and he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Now the Bucks are going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. The Bucks on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and 11. Winston. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. He'll field this at the five. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. And on to the field, here come the Panthers. And the ball backed way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but it does get away and it's second down. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. They'll throw now on the final play. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of his first half of play. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt, <laughs> show him one thing, hit him with something else. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 14 yards that time and a first down on the keeper. Now that run, that's exactly why you stay with the running game. You don't abandon it totally. You stick with it, keep telling your guys to stay motivated, and they found a crease on that play. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. On second down, McCaffrey. And down to the 36-yard line here. Nine yards on the pickup there as he'll be left with third and one. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. They'll set up a throw. And he finds a man. It's McCaffrey. 
And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. Now a play fake here on first down. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. He was waving his arms, wanted the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what did you say to him? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, <laughs> but since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't, real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that. That's cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. <laughs> Flush to his right. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. They'll set up to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they'll go backwards here. Losing yardage to the 14. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that is going to set up third and goal. Now back to throw. Flushed out right, and it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. They did allow him to drive all the way down the field, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. his way forward here for a good little gain. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Tough running there. That's a hard earn four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Second down, Winston. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. And they're able to get this one down to the 25. And a nice gain of 21 yards. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that they'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. A good pick up there, a 22. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense and reading your keys. You always hear about that and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. They run. Abdullah. And this is not going to do it as he stopped at the two-yard line. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. Okay, no score on that play, but this guy's been a touchdown machine all year long. You know they trust him with the football. 
Second and goal from the two-yard line. Again, it's Abdullah. And he's in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Amir Abdullah with touchdown number two in the game and now 11 of the year. And the Bucs have made this a one-score game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three points. The kicker. Exactly. You put it through the post, that's going to help him in contract time. And that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about Toe that. Toe bashed it. <laughs> Super tall. <laughs> so second and medium, second and five now. Detroit! Detroit! Set! McCaffrey on the counter. McCaffrey with a first down and more. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. That one 28 yards on the ground. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Dancing to his left. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. He was trying to get that one into the hands of Christian McCaffrey. And it's second down. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. Looking to throw. Funches with a catch over the middle. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. 23 yards on the play. And he's top five in the league in terms of receiving yardage because of plays like that. What have you seen from him on film that you like so much? Well, I'll strip away everything else and get to what we call the moment of truth. When the ball's arriving and there's a defender there, he just comes down with the ball. He competes and takes it away. Great hands, great ability to finish the catch. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And incomplete there. A nice hit. The ball free and brings up third down. But not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. The Panthers on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. Here it's third and two. Pitching it out to McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. And Aguayo able to knock it through. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So it goes down as an eight-play drive, and they cap it with the field goal. Yeah, they were able to pick up a few first downs along the way, but they couldn't keep the momentum going all the way into the end zone. Now the Buccaneers' offensive unit back out on the field, and they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch-counterpunch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. I love it. We'll see if they dial it up this drive. 
Winston now. And almost intercepted. It would have been his second pick of the game. Instead, it'll be second down. I know that interception was dropped, and it would have been their third of the game. And I will guarantee you, in the huddle, on the bench, all the defensive guys have been talking about is, we got this guy right where we want him. Who's going to get the next one? It almost becomes a challenge, and they missed a golden opportunity. The wide receiver moving to a new spot. They run with Abdullah, and he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. Winston now from the 50. And he's got a man. It's the tight end Howard complete. A very solid gain of 27. Well, we haven't been shortchanged on offense. Another fun play to watch there on the deep pass. This game has the feel of... So here we go, first and ten now. And now he'll tuck it and run. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. Nine yards on the first down. Keeper in at second and one. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. So a big play coming now for the Bucs as they'll go for two. Here's Winston. And his throw here is incomplete. I think we can figure out why they went for two there, right? Up one. You want to make it a field goal difference, if at all possible. They didn't get it. Now they've got to play some defense down the stretch. Yeah, not much margin for error now for your D. They just have to get it into range. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Some good game going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. It'll be a gain of six, and it'll bring up a second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. They'll look to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Hodges. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. They look to throw now on first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Back to throw now on second and ten. Incomplete, almost intercepted. They haven't picked him off yet. Would have been a great time for the first, but instead it's third down. The Panthers on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This is third and ten. He'll look to throw. He's going to sling this deep downfield. It's caught inside the 25. And he gets this down deep into Tampa Bay. Territory. 
So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he fires one incomplete. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. He'll drop it off to McCaffrey. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. Call it a gain of five. And that'll lead here to a third down. Walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Levante David in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. And Aguayo's kick is good. And with that, they will move ahead by two here in the fourth. So the drive here ends with a field goal, and that does give them the lead, but this one is still a long ways from over. And you love to be able to look up at the scoreboard and see that you're out in front, but then you take one look across the field and see that offense is raring to come back out, and you think, I don't know, the field goals are going to be enough to get us home. Now the Buccaneers' offense gets ready to head back onto the field. Jameis now on first down. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he's able to get up here to the 26. They'll give him a yard on the play. And that'll bring up second down. From the gun, Winston. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A very solid gain of 27. A first down throw for Winston. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. A big play there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Bucs have taken the lead here in the fourth. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right, RAC? Run after catch, and he loves that, and he's going to carry that in at contract time. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10-yard line. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And to the tight end, Olsen, right side. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. Back to throw. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Coney Ely in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. They're going to look to throw. Flush to his right. Now he'll let it go deep. And this would have been intercepted if he could have gotten the feet in. Instead, it's incomplete. Boy, that really could have turned this one upside down. Here's the Panthers punter now as he's on to kick it away. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. With it is Brown. Kick that time, 52 yards. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. 
And the Buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right, to be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last timeout. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. And at this stage of the game, time a factor, time on their side as they just try to eke out the final precious moments of this one. Here's Winston. Open man is Godwin. It's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but able to take it inside the 40-yard line. 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains. Here's a duel. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. And in this situation with a lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. On the run, Abdullah. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. Jameis to throw it. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. And here comes play number six on this drive. Abdullah. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. Time is starting to run out, really becoming a factor. We'll see if the defense can get the stop they need to get the ball back to the offense. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. The Bucks on third down. Can't fault these numbers. Seven for nine thus far. This is third and eight. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? The Bucks on third down. Can't fault these numbers. Seven for nine thus far. This time it's third and three. Winston the throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. And his kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to eight. So, Charles, I think from a defensive perspective, you have to look at that field goal there and consider it a win. You were able to keep them within a touchdown, so no question about it. That was the kind of stand that keeps you in ball games. Now the Panthers' offense, they get set to come back onto the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete.
He's back to throw. Flushed out right. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by Levante David. So they will set up shop. Excellent field position in the red zone at the 19-yard line. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. From the pistol, they'll run with Abdullah. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And they'll get him down right about the 20. Two yards gets him back to where they started, but now third and 10. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. And he'll give it here to his running back. But he's got the first down as he gets to the eight. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. But it was stopped on that play. We've had plenty of carries all afternoon. Every now and then, the defense is going to win one, but I don't think they'll shy away from handing it to them the rest of the game. A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about it.